It's not mentioned in any advertising and not even in the manual for this jet, but E-Flight's new 80mm F-16 is capable of reversing thrust to use as braking and even the taxi backward. This feature can be programmed using any NX, IX, or DX Gen 2 radio. For the proper model selected and turned on, scroll all the way to the right to find the Avian program page. It's a two-step process to get the ESC to enter programming mode. Step one is holding elevator back, aileron left for five to 10 seconds. Step two, continue holding back elevator and hold right aileron. Then use the right stick to scroll down to brake type. Use aileron right input to scroll through the options until you land on reverse. Next, you'll need to scroll down through a few pages and assign thrust reversing to a free channel. Even though the Bind & Fly version of this model comes with an AR637TA 6-channel receiver, it secretly has more channels for their safe select features and such if you choose to use them. Now that we've assigned the reverse function to a channel, we need to map a switch to control that channel so we can change between normal and reverse thrust. I used a mix curve on switch E. A few other E-Flight models feature reverse thrust, one being their Knight Timber X, which I have. The Timbers manual showed me that the channel assigned to the reverse thrust function of the ESC wants to see negative 100 for normal thrust and positive 100 for reverse thrust. Using a curve mix rather than a normal mix makes this a piece of cake. This is such an amazing feature and a very cool jet. I don't know why there's no mention in the manual for how to activate reverse thrust for this F-16, but I hope this short video helps you get it all set up on yours.